I'm hoping to make this video rather quick. You're going to open up Adobe Dimension. If you don't see it, go onto your apps, click and drag, and it's this one here in green. Once you've got there, you're going to go to Create New. Once Adobe Dimension opens up, hit Create New. This might take a few moments, especially if it's the first time that it's loading up. Once you do get in there, on the left-hand side of your screen, you are going to see a bunch of different models. You can drag on the slider here on your mouse and find a packaging that you think fits what your company is doing. So for example, if you want to do a bag like this, you can, or a box, you can, or a package, or even, um, depending on what it is, maybe one of these drawstring bags. So you have a few options that they give you. I'm going to use the bag, this one here. All I'm going to do is click on it, or you can click and drag it into the playing field. I'm just going to click on it once. And when I click on it once, you're going to see the bag shows up on my screen. The little scroll on my mouse lets me zoom in and out. This that you see here lets you do a lot of things. So first off, if you pull on the arrows, it will slide it in the space. So this is a three-dimensional space on the x-axis, on the z-axis, and up and down on the y-axis, okay? And then, once you've done that, these circles allow you to rotate the bag, okay? These allow you to rotate in different directions. You can always do Command-Z to undo. And then the boxes allow you to scale, right? If you hold Shift, it will scale it proportionally from all the angles. But if you let go of Shift, holding just one box will increase the size on that axis. Like, so I can make the bag taller or shorter or wider, fatter, that whole thing. And also, if I right-click, I can rotate around my screen like that. Okay, so how are you going to apply your logo onto here? All you must do is go to File, Import. Now, you're not importing a 3D model. You're not importing a background right now. You're going to import a graphic onto the model. So you're going to click in this one. And then from your folder, you're going to go and you're going to find that PNG that we, down, that we um, exported last time out of Illustrator and hit Open. So once that gets put on there, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it. Okay, so there's his logo on the bag. You can click and you can move it around. And you'll notice that as you move it, it starts to warp onto the other side. So as I move it, you see it's kind of like going like that. So you can position it wherever you'd like. You can also scale it bigger or smaller. Just click on one of the boxes here, hold shift, and you could make it bigger or smaller. If you hold option on this, you can click and drag, and you can get another one. If you hit the little circle here, you can rotate it in any direction that you want. So you can make some that are big, move them off to the corner, maybe move one here, right? I could also go back in that Illustrator file, this one, and I can take this as another piece that I want to bring in. So I could like take this, for example, and do the exact same process. Go to File, go to Export, Export uh, Selection, sorry, Export Selection. And then from there, do the exact same thing. Do it as a, as a PNG. Good morning. And then I'm going to put it uh, right back to the same folder. Let's see, there it is. Okay, so when I go back to Adobe Dimension now, I can do the exact same thing. I'm just going to, cl I'm going to click on the bag for a moment. I'm going to go to File, Import, Graphic onto the model. We're going to find this one, hit Open, and it's going to drop that on there. And again, same thing. I can hold Shift and make it smaller and, and pull it down and rotate it and, and all that good stuff, okay? In terms of a pattern, uh, you can do the same exact thing with the pattern so that you have that pattern. So I can go down to the pattern here. I can click on the pattern, for example. I can do the same thing, export selection, and export it as a PNG file. That's all set up. I go back into Adobe Dimension now, click on the bag, file, import, graphic on model, find, there's that pattern, hit open. It's going to throw the pattern on here, right? So maybe if I want the pattern on the side, I could rotate the pattern. I'm going to move, I'm going to rotate like this so you can see it better. Rotate the pattern, right? Resize the pattern a bit. Something like that. Looks kind of cool, right? If you got to kind of adjust it just to get it just right, you know? Um, and you can pull like this. And I could pull like that. So you might have to do a little bit of like working to get it the way that you want. Or maybe I just make it much thinner, you know? Maybe it's just like a thin line like this that goes on the side. Something to bring that pattern, uh, you know, into play. A little bit and then the color of the bag itself when you click on the bag you'll notice that here on the right hand side there is a little uh, button here with select material and if you click that it comes up with a little base color so you can click here on the base color and then you can choose whatever color you'd like so if you'd rather want the bag to be a yellow now all of a sudden there's your bag and it's yellow okay so you have lots of options and then all of this stuff you can change you can make it more metallic -y looking you can make it more glowing or less glowing you can bring down the opacity of the color, but then you can see through the bag. There's all that stuff. And then past that, if you go up to the top left over here, there are materials. So if you click on materials, there's all these different kinds of materials that you could use 
uh, to do this bag. If you wanted the bag to look like it was uh, wood, you'd go like that. And now you have a, a wooden bag, which doesn't make much sense for this. But maybe. It depends on what you want. When you are happy with the design and the way the whole thing looks for your packaging, I don't like that. I'm going to change that one sec. Right? So let's just say I do like uh, this one. No. How about gold? Okay, so once you are happy with the design, this is a terrible one, but we'll just use it as an example, okay? So you're going to go to render here, and <clears throat> we're going to say PNG, not PSD. We're going to name the file. So you're going to name it, you know, bag or something. It's fine. And we're going to tell it where to save it to. So you could do it, click on this and just choose your desktop for now. That's fine. And then you're going to hit render. Now, <clears throat> if you do that, it's going to give you a nice rendered version of this. So that's one way to kind of look at the, f the finished one. The other one is to go back to the design tab at the top, and then go to file, export, export the scene. And then here we can export it as a number of different um, files. OBJ is the one that we would want here. Okay. So you can basically you're going to do it in two ways and we're going to see you're going to see what you're going to do with this OBJ later. So here are your two ways just to reiterate, right? File, export, export scene. As in we're going to do you know, we'll come back to me on this because I have to play with that a little bit to see which format is going to be best for what we're trying to do. But the other one was render. And then, like I said, PNG, tell it where to go, hit render. When you hit render, it's going to take a few moments to do this. could take up to five minutes to complete. You'll see it rendering it here on the left-hand side. And it's going to give you a little estimation on the bottom right here. When that is complete, um, you're going to be able to bring that PNG file back into your uh, Illustrator file. And you're going to place it down here okay anything else that's extra you know you can put in your design or keep out of your design it's totally up to you uh, you know how you want to kind of work this thing all right you can have extra elements and stuff but the packaging is going to end up going in here once they're done in this program but you see it's all 11 percent now it should take about five minutes <clears throat> so I'm going to show you in class sort of what that looks like, but that's the end of the project basically at that point. Come see me when you are complete.